We're here at the National Portrait Gallery to celebrate their acceptance of this wonderful bronze bust of Sir Ben by Francis Segelman. The Second World War is a key part of European history and the Holocaust is of course central to that story. Also the stories of people who came to Britain as emigres in the 1930s but also the survivors who came in the post-war um, period. And Ben Helfgott's story is extraordinary and unique that he survived in really difficult circumstances. Dad's story has always captured people's imagination and he's always been keen to tell his story, not for himself, but for the victims of Nazi persecution. Sir Ben Helfgaard is an absolute hero. Look where he came from at the age he came out as a survivor from the Holocaust and he's now been dedicated to educating as many as he can see and, and impact and influence um, on the horrors of the Holocaust and everything associated with it. And wonderful that he's being commemorated in the way he is in a permanent exhibit here at the National Portrait Gallery. My father is nearly 90 years old. He was born in Poland in 1929. He survived the Holocaust but lost his family except his sister. He came here in 1945 as an orphan refugee. He rebuilt his life. He became captain of the British weightlifting team. And he's contributed to Holocaust education and to telling the story of the Holocaust. As a man, he's full of energy. He's full of power. He's incredibly passionate. He's driven. He will not be stopped. His enthusiasm is infectious and he's full of the zest for life. The way you actually um, look at and understand this portrait it has a real sense of presence. And for me, it shows inner strength and determination. You can tell this person was a weightlifter, but it also has a great sensitivity. The bust is a fantastic work of art. It was made at an event to celebrate the occasion when Sir Ben Helfgott was made a knight. And it was made in about two hours. The rough texture from the modelling of the clay conveys a real sense of animation and presence. It's also, it reveals a sense of personality, the strength of character, which obviously is a testimony to the endurance, what he suffered. And there's a lovely way in which the sort of bust um, tapers towards a fine point as it rests on the plinth. So it combines this sense of lightness and weight, which is rather unusual. And so these testimonies are really important, particularly in teaching younger generations. And at a time, think of what's happening in the world at the moment. Um, these testimonies are so important and vital, and museums are places which you know, retain these stories, these representations of people who live through these experiences. As Dad says, this is an important story, not because it's a Jewish story, it's a universal story. <laughs>